Dimension, Traitors and Barbarians, and this scenario is called Traitors and Barbarians. So, we've laid out what you need, and right in front of me here, these are the things that are new to this scenario. So you're going to need gold. Each player starts with five gold. You're going to need these three special hexes. These three stacks of special tokens, and they will be placed on the special hexes that they correspond with. Each player gets a wagon, that's what they look like from the side. They all, each player also gets a stack of cards baggage train cards. Number one has nothing here. Number two has the resources you need to be able to flip it over. You also do not use the development cards that come with the regular Catan. You use the special development cards that go with the traders and barbarians. You also need three barbarians. So we're going to quickly set up the board and play space and then we'll pause it to show you where to place these special items in front of me. There's no 12s. Those are taken out. Also, we took out one wheat and one sheep. One pasture and one field hex as well. These are the new hexes. And you can see on one side, right here, there is water. So you just have to make sure to line up that water with the edge of the board. So this one's going to go here. The wood one is going to go here. And the brick one's going to go over here. So if you're unsure or you can't see the blue because this this hex here does not have the blue on the edge, so if you're unsure, there's four paths that come out, and they should line up with the intersections on the board. You then take the tokens, and you place them on the hex that they correspond to. So the dark green go on the wood, the light green on the pasture, and the brown goes on the hills. You then place the three barbarians, and the barbarians are placed here, here, and here. Then we'll bring in the development cards. I believe they've been shuffled. But we'll go ahead and shuffle right now, just in case. Put the development cards right here. Each player gets the baggage train cards to their corresponding color. Make sure they're in order. One, two, three, four, five. And it's the outline on this side that you'll see. So this is reds. So you give it to red. And then they will flip over number one. And then this is oranges. One, two, three, four, five. That's dads. <clears throat> 
the trains will be placed once we place our cities. So we'll show you, we'll stop after we've placed our settlements and cities. So we're going to place one settlement, one city. We'll slow it down again and we'll show you how to place the wagons. Don't forget, each player starts with five coins. <laughs> to move the wagons from intersection to intersection. We however find that very crowded so we actually move from road to road. So like that. I'm not sure if you saw that. So you start on the road at your city. Now, you'll also see, I didn't point this out before, you do not play with the longest road. There's also no robber in this scenario. If you roll a seven, you actually move the barbarians to block the other people's roads. And we'll talk about that. We'll pause it later when somebody actually rolls a seven. The goal of the game is to get the tokens with your wagon from one spot, one of the special hexes, to one of the others. So if I have one of my wagons here and I pull it in, I would take a token, turn it over, and it's a mallet and a nail. So then I would look at the other two. No, oh, there it is. So that's where I would have to deliver. So my wagon would have to move all the way over here where I would get to deliver it. How to show it's delivered? You turn it upside down. That is equal to one victory point. Once you were there, you would take the next one and you would go deliver it to that location. These cards here are the baggage train cards, show you the wagons after your turn is over to end your turn, you move your wagon that many spaces. The coin is how much you get when you deliver one of the tokens to its location. So not only do you get that victory point, you get coins as well. When I flip over baggage train card two, or somebody else does, I'll show you what the other ones look like as we flip them. So we'll go ahead and get started. And we will stop as soon as we start moving the wagons. But for now, it's just roll. The kids are gonna go first, so we'll let them get their first turn underway. And we'll pause it when they're ready to move their wagon. <laughs> Kids are done their turn. They've traded. They've tried to trade. They've rolled the dice. They've picked up their resources and now they're ready to move their baggage train. They get to move four rows. Now, if they are moving along, let's call it an unpaved road, so there is nobody's actual roads here, so this is an unpaved road, They ha that would take two of the four movements, okay? 
if they try to move along somewhere with an actual road, so we'll call those the paved roads, that only costs one movement. This is where the money comes in. If they try to move along somebody else's paved road, let's call it the toll, like a toll road, they have to actually pay that player one coin to get across. Okay? Now, if you're trying to get through a barbarian, because I think that's the way the kids are going, because they're going to try to get over here, to get through the barbarian, they have to pay, or it takes, plus two movements to get by. So it's an unpaved road, so that's two movements, plus there's a barbarian, that's another two movements. Okay? So they would be able to get past, and they'd be stuck there. Okay? All right? If they didn't have enough movements, if they didn't have four, they would not be able to pass. Okay? So you guys ready to, you guys, is that where you're moving? Okay, so they will move. They were able to pass him. But it took all four movements. So that was a little bit complicated for the first run. We will stop a little bit more often as we're moving our wagons to show you how to get through. Oh, my wagon's way over there. I'll move him back. <laughs> all right. is going to move his wagon. So remember he, same as everybody, he is not upgraded, so he gets four movements. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Three, four. And he has arrived, so he will take one of those tokens. He'll look at it, and that's where he's going to have to move his wagon next to deliver. <laughs> to move four spaces I'm going and you the wagons I will say can share a spot so not that I would but I could go one two and then move in with him three four I don't have to do that so I won't but the wagons can stay on the same spot so one two take my token have to go there now, I've picked up my token, I cannot keep going. So that was only two of my movements, but I can't go three, I can't start leaving. I've gotten to the drop off point, I now, my turn is over. Okay, so it's the kid's turn. So you can see the baggage train cards has three, this one here, has three resources. Everybody's is the same. One wood, one sheep, one rock. So the kids are going to pay that. And now they will get to flip over baggage card number two. So I'm just going to pull it into the screen here so that you can see. There's some extra stuff here. They now get to move five with their wagons. They get two coins if they deliver. And... If they want to get a, past a barbarian, they now have a chance to roll the die, one die, to get past without having to pay the extra two movements. But they'd have to roll a six in order to do that. Okay, so the kids, don't forget, with the coins, the other rule still stands, they can purchase resources for two coins. So they're going to pay two coins. My recommendation is don't use the coins for that. Use the coins more for going across the board and using other people's roads. But everybody has a different strategy and that's why we love the game. So, 
Same rule applies if you have seven or more cards. If you have more than seven cards in your hand, you must discard half. There's no robber. And instead, the kids will get to choose one barbarian and move the barbarian to a new road. If they place the barbarian on another player's road, so for example, on mom's road, they would get to steal a card from me. So I just wanted to unpause here because I saw the kids try to do this. So you can build a road on one of these pathways. You'd have to be leading up to it. I mean, they tried to build here and that's, that does not follow any Catan rules. I don't know about that, but if they wanted, they could build it here to go into the special hex. one of mum's roads, like a toll, you have to pay one coin. Okay, dad's gonna move his wagon. One, two, three, four. So, he delivers this one, so he'll turn it upside down. That is one victory point. And he'll take the next token, take a look at it, look where he has to go, and that's where he will move his wagon next. Don't forget, his card shows that he gets to get two coins because he delivered. And that's kind of the gist of traders and barbarians. Going, moving your wagon, back and forth between these three, using the roads, paying other people. Or not using the roads. Or not using the roads, if you can avoid them, to go around um, so you don't have to pay a toll. So we'll unpause probably for quite a bit now, and we'll keep going from here. As you can see, I'll just point this out. The kids are already on baggage train card four. So if you can see, they get to move seven. They get to pass a barbarian for free using if they roll a four, five, and six. And they get four coins every time they deliver. They still have to flip over the last one. You don't have to, but they're still on their way to flip over the last one, which will cost two wood, one sheep, one rock. So they have a very good head start on everybody else. Correct me if I'm wrong, you only have one movement left. So he has to roll, says his card, a six to get past. If he does not roll a six, he has to stay where he is. He cannot move past. All right, so he's stuck there, the barbarian one, and he passes the dice.
they got to the fifth card in the baggage train. So they still only get to move seven. They get five coins when they deliver. They can go past the barbarian for free with three, four, five, six. And they get one victory point. <laughs> you may do once per turn and they will get an additional two movements one two it won't get them to finish this turn but it gets them a little bit closer okay and that's the game Kids win, and by a lot. Um, what was your strategy? Roads. See, roads. we didn't we didn't do what Dad did. We just built roads. They were able to area. get through, and they built roads, we and used, they and built them <coughs> fast. We used our coins. To build they did use coins, which I had said. Because we don't need to. Uh, we yeah. don't need to learn. So. But they, take a look at their original placements, count the dots. Yeah, they did have placements. very, yeah. they did have very good original placements, these two here. But I mean, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen here. I'm going to get Lily to push out all the tokens that they had, um, that they had collected. I mean, they just had a, a huge line here of tokens. So they got to 13, and then you look at myself, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I have seven victory points. Dad has one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm? You got ten. Oh. Yeah. I was, saying, I was about to flip that one over. Like, ten, in the next almost one. eleven. So they were a little bit closer, but they left me way back. Yeah. That's it. Keep playing and have fun. Uh -huh.